This sneaker is flying way under the radar and I am so excited to add these to my collection. Let's go ahead and give you guys an early look and my first impressions. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So looking at the box, you can definitely see the resemblance of the Nerf collaboration with the Nike KD4, but this is a different box than the original box that came out back in the day. In 2011, we saw the Nerf KD4 hit the streets and everybody went crazy for the shoe. It was a hyped up sneaker then and it's still a hyped up sneaker to this day. Well, kinda. Either way, when you look at the market and the resale value on that shoe in particular, I'm still seeing pairs going over $1,000 when it comes to the resale market as well, even though we got the current retro set to come out next month. So as you can see, See with the packaging on there they came with the small mini hoop and the basketball and a larger box and then obviously the pair of shoes and then on here you just have the branding all throughout the box with the kd and the 35 right here on the lid with the nerf text and that type of font right there and then you got that blue and the different colors resembling the branding of nerf as well and then all throughout the sides of the box you can see that same thing on here now looking at the size tag it reads kd nerf concord bright crimson black and I got these in a size 12 and a half because they didn't have a 13, but either way, I figured I could make it work and I couldn't resist copping this shoe. Now lifting open the lid right here, you got KD right here with a little cartoon type character, your Nike swoosh and the lime green, and then your Nerf branding right here in the bottom half of the lid. These come standard with white paper and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Now before I get into the shoe, I also wanna take the paper outside of the box so you guys can see what it looks like, how they continue that on with the branding right there. So I like how they kept that consistency throughout the entirety of the box. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into some of the details of this sneaker. I don't know exactly what the original looks like when it comes to the small details, whether the speckling is a little bit different or the insole has a little bit difference on that as well. But I, when I look at the images online, they look like they are very similar to the original shoe. And I definitely wanna try these on later in the video just to see how they fit. I know it's a 12 and a half and I'm a 13, but I think I should be able to make it work. Either way, I wanna see because I used to own so many KD4s back in the day. And this was one that always ran away from me and the price tag was crazy. These and the Weathermans. And now seeing that the Weathermans, the Galaxies and the Nerfs are all dropping again is actually crazy. I saw all of them actually when I was in LA at SneakerCon and they didn't have the other two pairs in my size. So I ended up only picking these up, but trust me, when I tell you if I was able to get all three in a size 13 I definitely would have cop. but like typical fashion we're gonna start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up and go over all the styles cuts materials and details looking at the outsole right here you can see you got a mixture of a few different colors and patterns as well so you got that more of that infrared crimson type color here all throughout the majority of the outsole then you got more of that navy color it's kind of like purplish too it's kind of like that navy purple uh, let me know what you guys consider that if it's purple or if it's navy I would love to hear down below in the comment section because I've had this debate with other people in the past and I've heard some people say it's a dark purple and I've heard other people say it's navy so I want to see what you guys think also other small details when it comes to the outsole if you look really really close right here on the toe it says Barbara and then it says Tony man and if you look a little bit closer on the lime green area right here you can see it says stay focused and then on the other foot right here it says work hard there's also another detail right here if you look closely I'll have images for you guys as well it says designed and engineered to the exact specification of and then it has Kevin Durant's signature right below that so definitely a lot of small details when it comes to this shoe and things that sneakerheads just love to see and then you have this plastic piece with the KD branding and the speckle behind it in that same crimson and navy color there and then more of a like royal blue type color here when it comes to this plastic piece with your still speckled with the lime green and the orange and the purple kind of mixed throughout as you can see right here on the front end of the toe it says nike zoom so you're gonna have the zoom air units throughout the foot now going to the midsole as you can see you're gonna have that speckling all throughout this does look similar to the original but i think the original had a little bit more of a gray speckle to it that was a little bit more dominant on there again let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section if you have the original pair now going to the top of the foot when it comes comes to the upper the materials do look very similar but on the back right here on this gray area I'm not sure if you can hear it or not but it's kind of got that scratch to it right there and then this one is more smooth so the materials definitely do look similar but they are different when it comes to that aspect so you're gonna have that darker gray on the inside and the back end around the heel right here with your lime green KD logo on the back end of the heel and then your crimson Nike swoosh on the inside of the foot now when it comes to the outside you're gonna have this strap with the crimson swoosh as well that's gonna be a velcro strap so as you can see 
this goes across the foot more on a diagonal pattern and then it straps throughout this area and then on that you're gonna have a mixture of different colors so you're gonna have more of that navy at the bottom the black speckle in the middle and then the gray at the top half of the strap as well and then you're gonna see more of that transition of the colors in the pattern go from the gray to now and the navy all throughout the front end of the shoe and another dope touch that i like what really makes the shoe pop even more the lime green hit that you see on the inside of the foot you're gonna have that same thing here on the swoosh on the toe and then just on the borderline around the cuts of the materials, you're gonna have that same lime green finish all throughout the same area where the lace holes are. Now, speaking of the laces, you're gonna have those navy laces matching with the upper, and then you're gonna have a navy mesh just behind that. And then if you look at the mesh on the side of the foot, they actually kind of switch it up. It's a navy mesh, and then you can see the different materials behind it in that lime green hit, just a little bit right here on the inside of the foot. And then also the same thing right here on the outside of the foot. You can definitely see it a lot more prominent there. Now, continuing on with some other other details on this sneaker as well if you look right here you can see you have these two different loops right here I can't tell if it's metal but I think it's plastic right here that's gonna be where this strap actually loops through and you can tighten and loosen it right there and then on the inside you can see you got that gray and it's kind of more of like a little suede like material now another dope hit that I love about this shoe as well is gonna be the nerf branding right here on the tongue you're gonna have that in that yellow and orange all throughout that area with that splatter with the gray tongue really matching with the back end of the shoe and then on the inside of the sock liner and behind the tongue you're gonna have a mixture of all the different colors you're gonna see kind of that splatter and the green right there and the orange and the blue on the tongue so let's take out the insole real quick and we can check out the sock liner and everything like that so right here it's going to be all black and honestly this is a very very cheap insole so if you were looking at longevity or anything like that you're definitely going to probably want to switch to insoles or more comfort or anything like that when you're hooping uh i like how they have the, the aspect of you know the nerf branding with the nike logo but besides that you know what i'm saying these these insoles are terrible so i like how they have that nerf branding and the nike branding and everything like that but at the end of the day these insoles are very very cheap and not that good so overall let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section is this a sneaker you plan on adding to your rotation to your basketball rotation to your collection whether it may be you have memories from the past or you want to create new memories with these now i would love to hear it down below in the comment section again i missed out on the og so i'm excited to be able to pick these up and they're very very affordable I'm loving the fact that you can get these for right around 200 bucks and not have to spend a thousand dollars or 700 bucks or anything like that to still get a dope shoe, a nostalgic shoe, somebody to be able to reach back from the past and go get something nice for their collection. So for me, I'm loving it. I'm excited. I'm happy about these and uh, I want to try these on. So let's go ahead and put these on and see what you guys think and I'll see you guys in a bit. So that's gonna do it let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and if you made it this far into the video and haven't hit that subscribe button yet go ahead and hit the button and join the fam i'll see you guys in another one we got plenty more heat to review all right y'all i'm out i would never let you down us in my dna hey, hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware today one one i would one. never let you down us in my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today i was made for it